5G technology is something that's been bubbling up in the news recently. In the US, a number of companies have controversially been rebranding their 4G network as new 5G. In the UK, networks have begun to roll out 5G, and 5G technology is right at the heart of the ongoing Huawei controversy. We made a whole video explaining the Huawei dispute a couple months back, there's a link in the description, and in that we discuss some of the basics of 5G. Today we're going to go into a little more detail. We're going to explain what 5G is, what it means for you, and if it's here already. Before we do that though, and I know I've done this a lot this month, but I want to shout out our Patreon page. We make independent news content and we're able to do so because our community support us, and we don't need to get corporate backers. This month we're really pushing Patreon because anyone who signs up for $10 or more a month will get a free enamel pin badge. We're making 10 versions of our countries with shoes design and you could get yours free of charge if you're signed up by the end of June. If you're interested, there's a link in the description. Thank you so much for your support and for helping us create more content. So what exactly is 5G? 5G or fifth generation is the next generation of mobile internet connectivity. In the coming months and years, we'll begin to see 5G replace 4G, as 4G replaced 3G in 2010, and 3G began replacing 2G in 2003. Without getting too technical, 5G is all about increasing the efficiency of the use of the radio spectrum, and allowing more devices to access the internet at the same time. If you're to think of it as traffic, 4G is a dual carriageway, and 5G is a motorway. First generation connections only allowed voice. Second added texting and messages, third was characterised by the addition of video, fourth allowed mobile gaming and streaming, and now we're at fifth. Marketing 5G could be a bit more difficult, as it's unlikely to be defined by any specific new technology. Because of that, it's often referred to as a network of networks, combining together the power of existing and future standards, including the current LTE and 4G networks we already experience. So what does this mean for your life? Well, users will be able to continue doing anything they can at the moment, but they'll be able to do it much better and faster. Mobile users should notice less delay or latency when pressing a button and seeing the effect happen on screen. Mobile videos should be near instantaneous and glitch free. Video calls should become a lot clearer and less jerky. Wearable fitness devices will be able to monitor your health in real time, alerting doctors as soon as an emergency arises. That's because 5G can offer mobile internet speeds of around 10 to 20 times faster, with some companies even claiming it might be up to 50 times faster. 3G has a maximum download speed of 384 kilobytes per second. 4G took that up to 100 megabytes per second, and 4G Plus is about 300 megabytes per second. So where does 5G leave us? Well, it finally takes us above one gigabyte per second for the first time, However, there's a theoretical limit of about 10 gigabytes per second, putting it at a maximum of 100 times faster than 4G. This takes the time of downloading an HD movie down from more than 24 hours to possibly as fast as 4 seconds. Despite the increase in speeds, there still might not be the same obvious jump in tech that has existed in the past. This is still an existing technology. These speeds pave the way for more complex technology, and it allows us to do some truly exciting things. For example, multiple autonomous vehicles will be able to interact with each other, like a swarm of drones working together, or driverless cars working together to prevent accidents or delays. The rollout of 5G will also be good for businesses and the economy, with a report from O2 estimating that 5G will earn the UK productivity savings of about £6 billion a year. On top of that, the UK's National Health Service will see about 1.1 million GP hours per year freed up by advancements in 5G. With companies bandying around the term 5G like there's no tomorrow, do we actually already have 5G technology in service? Well, that's a surprisingly hard question to answer. Unlike other standards like Wi-Fi, which has a fixed definition and is controlled by the Wi-Fi Alliance, 5G has no such institution, ensuring the term is used correctly. Like I mentioned up front, a few countries are hoping to have 5G up and running before 2020. Qatar claims it already has 5G services, and as I said, then there was a lot of controversy in the US about companies claiming 5G coverage. But most countries are expecting to see 5G launch in the 2020s. The UK is one of the countries where 5G rollout is already in process. Mobile network EE turned on 5G signal in six launch cities last week. Cardiff, Edinburgh, Belfast, Birmingham, London and Manchester. 
Testing of EE's network is being conducted across London, and their 5G network is between 4 to 10 times faster than their 4G network. Other mobile networks in the UK, O2, 3 and Vodafone, all have plans to update their connections over the summer. You can find full links to their launch plans in the description. A number of places across Europe are also rolling out this technology, with some availability in Switzerland, Spain, Portugal, Italy, Romania, Estonia, Poland and Finland. For a full map of global availability, head to the links in the description. Remember though, if you're hoping to upgrade to 5G on your mobile device, you'll need to upgrade your connection, and that will probably cost more. Also, just because the connection's faster, doesn't mean you're not still burning through your data. Even though you might be able to download a full HD movie in 4 seconds, it's still using the same amount of data to download, it's just doing it a lot faster. You'll also need a device with a 5G modem built in, which tends to only be present on newer devices. As I mentioned at the beginning, we made a whole video about 5G, and about the Huawei scandal which continues to rumble on, impacting trade and foreign policy worldwide. If you do want to know more about that, there's a link to the video in question in the description. If you'd like to see more technology explainers like this one, then like this video and comment below, letting us know what technology you'd like us to explain next. Also, while we're asking you to do stuff, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. You can also follow us across other social networks simply by searching for TLDR News.